two sides of the coin. There is the importance of one that is of another. Hello and Namaste. I am Sunil Alhapa. I am currently studying Grana in Guru Public School from Mutual. This video is for the third national online space pitch competition organization called Astronomical Society. So here I go. A family consists of men, women and children. A happy family is one in which there is equal participation of both men and women. In the same way, a happy society is one in which there is equal participation and contribution of both men and women. If either the men or women start in their work, the family or society can run smoothly. Increasingly, women are taking up the roles that are traditionally taken up by the men. It is almost common for women to participate and work in different fields. Though there are very less women's space right now, it is time for women to participate and fight for themselves to be in a space. We are able to learn and explore many more things through space science. These all things happened when most of the men were engaged in it. Men indeed were the first to land on the moon. That makes us very proud to be part of humankind. As per the saying of Mahatma Gandhi, our ability to reach unity and diversity will be the test and to our civilization. If one can do the impossible work, then what if one is converted to a group? I mean, if both men and women are united together, can't we explore more things? One does have to develop our own civilization. One may be tempted to think that men are really important to go into space. But that's not exactly true. There are plenty of women who have contributed a lot to space science. Just to share some examples. Valentina Terescua managed to the first woman space in Alice 3. Computer scientist Patty Woman had developed the algorithm that created the first ever image of black hole. Catherine Johnson and NASA were instrumental in getting astronauts into the orbit safely and helped humans on the moon. Mary Jackson, the first African American female engineer, performed years of research focusing on the boundary of the air and our beds. This list is meant to serve only as an example. There are plenty of women who have contributed a lot to space science. But still, their contribution is less than that of male. Women's contribution is limited not only to space, but to science and technology more broadly. Science needs diversity to solve complex problems, and this is possible when both, both men and women are united together. Women bring perspective and points of view that are, that are different from men, and those that are shaped by their life experiences and circumstances. For science, inclusion in space science is important for both men and women to work together, and society has a lot more to gain through it. There is a tradition in a poor country like Nepal that women are for pleasure, for feeding children, for cleaning homes, and many more. They are thought to be born for others. They are of him, that for family, and many more. Isn't it ridiculous? Doesn't this make us feel disappointed to be a part of civilized society? Rules and regulations are made for development, and development means bringing positive change to society. If there are rules that are guaranteeing gender equality, then the nation can develop any more. The women will get marginalized, declined, to do which right now, right now women are not getting opportunity to be in the space. Is there any development right now? I have a question to all the females. Do you want to follow all the rules and regulations that are making the ability just your hobby? Or do you want to be free from the boundary and do whatever you want to do as like a job or a profession? In the present context of Nepal, many women are interested in space, in space science but they are unable to express themselves due to pressure of society. They are unable to express themselves. They are unable to study properly. They are forced to stop their study. They are forced to to marry. Even they have got different goals and dreams. This problem is happening with us, right? Why can't we fight ourselves? Why are we seeking help to others? Why can't we prove that we are good enough to go into space? If there is a will, there is definitely a way. Nothing is impossible in this world. Impossible word itself has I am possible. We can do everything we want to do. But the thing that should be in us is faith. Yes, we should have faith in ourselves to achieve anything. If nature doesn't do any discrimination between men and women, then why are we letting ourselves to be discriminated by the society? Why can't we fight for ourselves? We, if men can go into the space, we can also go into the space. If men can do such a great work, we can also do a great work. Nothing is impossible in this world. We can do it, we can go into space. Having said this, I would like to conclude my speech here. Thank you.